Hi, my name is Kimberly. Welcome to Wine on a Dime and welcome to my very first show. Yay! Super exciting stuff. Today we're going to be drinking some kava because it's our first show. We got to drink sparkling wine to celebrate. So a little bit about kava. It's actually a really great value because it's made the same way as champagne for a fraction of the price. Three of the most popular kinds of sparkling wine in the United States are champagne, cava, and prosecco. Prosecco is made in Italy and it's made in the tank method. So the second fermentation of the wine is basically done in these giant metal tanks. And for cava and champagne, it's a much longer process and they're actually fermented in the bottle for several months in these dark cellars and they have to be like twisted <laughs> because like this dead yeast is in the wine and they have to kind of it's bummed out on lees so it's really fancy and champagne a good bottle of champagne will cost you 20 to 30 dollars but a good bottle of cava you're looking at you know under 20 dollars so let's get poppin bottles well that's the thing if you're actually like popping making like a popping motion when you're opening sparkling wine, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. It can be very dangerous. I mean, if you're doing like a celebration, like you just won the Super Bowl or the World Series, you can probably shake it up and pop it open. But um, I'm going to actually show you uh, how easy it is to actually open sparkling wine because some people have a challenge with it. So first off, you want to take this wrapper off. Oops. There's like usually perforated lines like around here. I'm just, most of the time I take the whole thing off because, you know, YOLO. Ah, so we're here. So an, another common mistake that a lot of people make when they are opening their sparkling wine is they take this entire cage off. Um, you're actually just supposed to loosen it up a little bit and it actually helps you get a good grip on it and take the whole bottle off. So don't take the entire cage off. So I usually will just untwist it maybe about six times. So, so it's kind of like loosened up here. Um, always don't like pace it towards you. That's dangerous or other people. But um, <laughs> pace it away from people or animals. So if you like actually grab on here and you actually get a pretty good grip on here because you're actually going to spin the bottle. Let's see if I can loosen it up a little bit more here. Okay, so get a good grip and twist the base of the bottle like so. Woo! Woo! And there you go. All right, so we are reviewing Freshenet Cordon Negro Extra Dry, um, commonly found in the Brut variety. I'm not a big Brut fan. I actually like sweeter... Um, sparkling wines but if you were to find this in the grocery store usually that's what's offered is the brew kind but i bought this at total wine for six dollars and 77 cents um if you were to buy it anywhere else i saw it at target for 12.99 <laughs> so it depends on where you buy it so look out for sales um big box retailers or wine retailers like total wine usually will have a lower markup on their wines um but if you're like at the store and you bought some seafood or some bacon and you're looking for something um, this is usually around the 10 to 12 dollar range so it's a pretty good value I have not tried this so <laughs> um, this is a first for you and I so it's really a straight review here um, so we'll see how the tasting goes the grapes that you can find in here um, and pardon me if I say these wrong, I'm not the best at pronouncing Spanish words. <laughs> um, Macabeo, Sherlo, uh, and Pareada. I think I said those right, but those are the three grapes that are in this wine. Um, those are typical grapes that you will find in Cava, which is a Spanish wine. Those are, pop those are grapes that you will find in Spain. Let's get to the tasting. All right, let's take a little whiff of this thing, see what we get here. Mmm, definitely citrus, very citrusy. That's the first thing that really hit me. Maybe something like a peach or a nectarine. Mm. 
And there's kind of like this smell, like kind of like like a gummy bear, but not like a cheap gummy bear, but like the good kind of gummy bear, like Harbo gummy bears. Like, I'm thinking like, it's kind of like apple-y. Not green apple, but red apple. Hmm. So let's take let's let's take a taste. It tastes <laughs> it kind of tastes like if sparkling apple cider had alcohol in it. <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever. Like like the real version of sparkling apple. I get some apple in here. Maybe some, some a little bit of peach. Um, this is quite good. Ooh, I'll have a little bit more, huh? So we got we gotta have a little bit more to get the right tasting, right? Hmm. It's very approachable. It's not very complex, but it's very approachable. Um, if you were to have a brunch or something, this would be a good thing to serve. I think that a lot of people, especially if they're not like used to drinking sparkling wine every day, not that you should drink sparkling wine every day, um, I think a lot of people would like this, um, especially if they're kind of like new to wine, but I'm not new to wine and I quite enjoy it too. This can be dangerous too. Um, this is, I think 12%, let's double check. 11.5 percent it take it this could uh knock you on your butt um usually sparkling wine is in the 10 to 12 percent alcohol by volume range so this is a little bit higher um so i can see this being a little bit dangerous on sunday fun day for sure i don't know if i would want to actually make mimosas with this because it's really good on its own um usually <laughs> when i make mimosas it's to kind of drowned out <laughs> this cheap sparkling wine that I get but this would be like totally hold up on its own I would not put orange juice in this because I think it would ruin it in terms of what I would rate it um out of five stars I think I would give this a four I think it's a pretty good value um like I said it's not too complex it's it's I wouldn't say it's one note I would say it's more two note what I would be willing to pay for this um like I said I saw this the brute version at Target for $12.99. I think I would pay up to $15 for this. Yeah, this is good. I was not sure what to expect. It tastes like, I don't, I don't really like red apples because of their texture, but it tastes like, like a crisp red apple um, with like <laughs> some citrus, undefined citrus, maybe some like lemonish to really bring it out. I like it a lot. I was not thinking that I would. So, good surprise. Thanks, Freshnet. This is pretty tasty. Um, thanks for making this wine. I like it. Thanks for checking out my review of Freshnet Cordon Negro Extra Dry. Um, I'll put their information in the description below so you can check them out if you're interested. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and we'll see you next time on Wine on a Dime. I'm gonna drink some more of this. Ooh. It is pretty good.